Washing and waxing day to day. Never got my uh, fall wax put on this machine, so figured I better uh, get it waxed up while we had some good weather here. Cleans up pretty good. Uh, cat guy was just out uh, a couple hours ago and uh, took pictures of everything and did the appraisal on this machine, see uh, what it's worth. Had a uh, subscriber of mine asked a question on the uh, all-wheel drive control on this machine, so I'll uh, take everybody up in a cab and uh, show you how that works. I've been uh, using this top coat wax, and it's just like a mirror. I mean, it's unreal how shiny that is. You can see your reflection in it real easy. Very happy with this stuff. Go ahead and climb up in the cab here. Got to detail my floor yet, but uh, it's still sloppy in the shop and it's not much better outside, so we'll leave that for another day. Did the uh, joysticks, armor all them, clean them all up, make that look nice. So I'll turn my key on here. Let it go through its boot up. Start the machine up. So, if anybody's new to an M series, it'll have the uh, steering uh, not aligned like it just popped up here What you got to do is you got to take your left joystick and just move it ever so slowly So that it catches your front tires the last place it was and then you're good to go So on a 140m3 The all-wheel drive control is right here So you flip the switch and the green light will come on and there's a plus and minus here so in the middle your front wheels will match your tandem speed and then if you turn this to the right so if you turn it all the way over uh, your fronts will be pulling approximately 50 to 60 percent faster or they'll be turning 50 to 60 percent faster than what your tandems are pulling you along I only do that as if I'm trying to get out of a snowbank or put yourself in a ditch or you're really trying to get out of somewhere. Uh, majority of the time I just leave it in the middle and uh, it works out just fine. And then on this here, if you put it in snail mode and then you dial it back, what that's for is, is uh, it, it uh, disengages your uh, front or your rear tandems and then it just pulls your front end hydraulically. Uh, as far as township blading and stuff like that, we'll never use that. But uh, that's kind of just a general how the all-wheel drive control works. You uh, got all your your saddle pin lock here, your def and stuff, your defroster fans, warning light, heated mirrors, and then all your light switches. Uh, this is your hydraulic lockout. You can put that on if you got to go road the machine a long distance and you're worried about putting the moldboard down when you're driving, you can lock that out. And the only thing that'll work is your steering. Uh, another thing I'll show you while I'm in the cab here quick is if you go into this information, you go into your, uh, well, let's see here, here we go. You go into your uh, settings. And then you go into your implement. You can adjust your hydraulic uh, settings here. You can have normal, coarse, or fine. And I run all mine on normal because that uh, that's pretty similar to what like the 140Hs and how they uh, reacted. Some guys like running on fine or coarse. I just have mine on normal. It seems to work the best for me. Uh, that's kind of everybody's whatever they like, you know, you can change it there and uh, 
you can go into your engine here, you can turn on the economy mode. I do run that in the summer when I'm out blading. Uh, you just might as well conserve the fuel. And then you can actually go in on the settings on the transmission. And I try to do this at least every uh, every probably 50 hours or so. And that's to go through and calibrate. This year you can go in and change your what gear it starts out in fourth and then it goes in reverse. Uh, if you go in to your service and then you can go into calibrations and then you can go into transmission. Your en engine oil has got to be a certain temperature. It's obviously not that warm since we just started the machine so I'm not going to go through it but if you click on that it'll walk you through on how to proceed with the calibration. So uh, I really like this machine. I uh, possibly might have two new 140s coming. Not sure if I'm going to go with the uh, steering wheel and levers or stay with the joysticks. I really like the joystick but my main complaint is is they're solid mounted to the floor and uh, they're not independent. They, they take and stay with uh, your seat when you bounce up and down. They don't come with you and it's starting to bother my shoulders a little bit so I don't particularly care for that. But otherwise, the machine's awesome. Great power, awesome visibility. I mean, there's no other machine on the market that you can see that kind of moldboard. Pretty much see everything. And even with the snow weighing on, you know, that's a big obstruction. And you don't even notice it in the end because they lined the wing mask up right where all your uh, switches are and everything. So that's already a blind spot. It just blends in. So I really like the visibility there. And then the big side window, you can see out. Really nice. Like every, thank everyone for watching and uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll take and uh, keep the videos coming. Thanks for watching.